Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that on the occasion of Diwali celebration, the HR head of a company organized a game called Har Ghadi Badal Rahi Hai Roop Zindagi. And in this game, uh, you have your position at one of the hands of the clock. Okay. And it is given that you can uh, move one step clockwise, one step anti clockwise, or to a place diametrically opposite to theirs. So, for example, if one is at 3 o'clock, they can go anti-clockwise to 2, they can go clockwise to 4, they can go opposite to 9. So, these are the three movements that are allowed. Okay. Now, uh, we are given the conditions of the uh, movement that start is at 1 o'clock. So, this is the starting point and their score is 0. So, initially, you have 0 score. And if you go clockwise, you have to add the time value in that position to their score to get the new score. So let's say a person goes from 1 to 2. So this is a clockwise movement. So you will get 2 points. Okay. If you go from 2 to 3, you get 3 points. Right. Next is uh, if uh, they move anti-clockwise, they add the time and subtract 5 from their score. So if you are at 1, you go to 12. So you will have 7 points. Okay, if you go to 7, 11, you will get 6 points and here you will get 5 points. So, initially it may be beneficial, but when you make multiple movements, then the score may be decreasing. Okay, now next condition is like if you move a step diametrically opposite, they add the time value in that position to their score and subtract 3 to get the new score. So, if you go from 1 to 7, you will get 4 points. Suppose you go from 2 to 8, you will get 5 points. Okay. Suppose you go from 11 to uh, 5, right? So you will get 0 points. So like this, it will happen. Okay. So that is the scoring pattern of this game. Now let us look at the questions. And another important thing is cannot return to a position they have already visited. So it does not mean that you go di diagonally opposite and then return. So that is not possible. And even in like, let's say you moved from uh, 1 to 12 and then go like this and then uh, come back to uh, let's say like this and then like this so you cannot come back to 1 okay so that is not permitted so based on this information let us answer the questions if one had moved a step anti-clockwise in the first move one could not have reached which of the following positions after the fourth move so this is very simple so this is the step one, you have moved to 12, right? So we'll have to check the options, nine o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock or four o'clock. Now you can move three steps. This will be the second step, third step, fourth step. So you can reach nine o'clock. Let's look for six o'clock, okay? Now, uh, instead of taking the second step here, some students might take that this is the first step, this is second step, cannot reach six. Think like this. So you took the second step to 11. Then you took the third step, okay, and then you came to six. So that is also possible as the fourth step. So step one, step two, step three, and step four. So six o'clock is also possible. Now, if you look from this movement itself, like instead of moving uh, in the clockwise direction, if you go to this direction, your fourth step can be at four o'clock also. So the remaining number is seven o'clock. So let us see that if we can reach seven o'clock, so if you take the second step here, suppose this is our second step. Okay. So uh, if we take the third step here, we will have to make the fourth step here. So we cannot reach, reach seven, we will reach eight. If you take it this side, you will reach four, you cannot reach seven. Similarly, let us say you took this as the second step. Okay. Then you went diagonally opposite. Okay. And then... Uh, this is your third step and your fourth step will be at six or it can be at four. So you cannot have the fourth step reaching at seven. So one cannot reach seven o'clock. Okay. All right. Next question is, what is the shortest number of moves to reach five o'clock position when starting from one o'clock? Okay. Now, uh, this uh, is again a possible place where people can make silly mistake. People can think that let's go in this direction, one, two, three, four, five. So you need four steps, isn't it? But let us think that instead of going in the clockwise direction, we go from one to seven. So this is first step, second step, and third step. So in three steps, we can reach five. 
Okay, do not mark four as the answer. What will be the minimum score after the third move? Okay, so we need to find the minimum score. Now again, in this question, a possible thing that people can make is, see, if you go in the clockwise direction, you are starting from one, clockwise direction gives you low scores, like two, three, and four. However, if you think that clockwise, it is low score, and if you look at anti-clockwise, you will not go anti-clockwise for sure because the numbers are large here. But if you go uh, like diametrically opposite, so you have to think a bit, right? Since there are three moves involved, people might think that this is the least possible score. But let me think of a case wherein we do not move this way, we move this way. Suppose if I move from 1 to 7, that is diametrically opposite. So you will have to subtract 3. So you will get 4 points. Now, you know that anti-clockwise is giving large negative, right? You have to subtract 5. So move from this position to 6. So you will get 1 point and then move from 6 to 5, you will get 0 points. So the minimum score is 5 and not 9. That is why the questions are easy, but you have to think a bit uh, in which directions should one move. So the minimum possible score is 5 and not 9. Okay, next question is, uh, like what will be the maximum score after the fifth move? Okay, now in this case also, if you think that if you go uh, diagonally, uh, like diametrically opposite, Okay, that will lead in a small number plus negative. So anti-clockwise gives us the high value. Like for example, if you go anti-clockwise from here, it will give you, uh, like you have to subtract 5. So you will get 7 points if you start from this direction. So we will look at the possibilities, how we can go. So this will give us 6 points, this will give us 5, this will give us 4, and this will give us 3. So there are 5 movements. Right. So five moments of duty, see you are getting 25 points if you go in this direction. But as I said that the question is not that easy at, as it seems. So you have to make five moves, right? Now, if you go in the clockwise direction, just see, we will get two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that will be 20 points. So we will not go either anti-clockwise or uh, purely clockwise. So what we will do is, we will do the mixture of clockwise, anti-clockwise and diametrically opposite. Now try to understand that if you go in clockwise direction, okay, so if you go in clockwise direction, you gain. So clockwise, there is no negative. So if instead of going all the way like this, if I take this route, let's say I first go diagonally opposite. So 1 to 7, like how many points will we gain? So if you go from 1 to 7, there is subtraction of 3. So you will get a total of just 4 points. But if you start moving clockwise after this, you will gain points. Like you will get 8 points, 9 points, 10 points and 11 points. Okay. So it is like it's, it's a set which requires uh, good thinking ability that instead of moving anti-clockwise, because you will definitely go to large numbers, but you will lose points also. But if you move clockwise, there is no negative. So try to move clockwise to a large number. Okay, so we can diametrically go opposite. So we will get four points and here onward, we will get these many points. So we have 19, 1938 plus eight uh, plus four, 42 points, okay, which is much, much higher than uh, supposedly 25, which many of the people might have guessed. Okay, now let us think that can we make it even further. Okay, so if you look at this clockwise, we can reach maximum of 11 in 5 steps. Had we moved one step anti uh, first clockwise, that is 2, and then moved to 8, let's think of another scenario that shall we move clockwise and then diametrically opposite and this, then what will happen? If you move to 2, so you will get 2 points. You go from 2 to 8, you will get 5 points, and then it will be 9. 10 and 11 that is what the scenario is going to be so this is uh, what you have is uh, 20 30 37 okay so you cannot match this score of 42 in any scenario so the best move is move from 1 to 7 which is 4 points 
and then 8, 9, 10 and 11. So which will total up to 42 points. So the answer is 42. Now there is the next question. Pradap the CEO was given a wildcard entry. He was allowed to start from 11 o'clock but the condition was that he could not move anti-clockwise. What is his maximum possible score after 4 moves? Right. So now there is a special case wherein you have to start from 11 but you cannot move anti uh, you cannot move anti clockwise right why anti clockwise because the person will choose anti clockwise and get, will get a high score so instead of that the person can go uh, clockwise or can go diametrically opposite now understand that if the person goes diametrically opposite from 11 to 5 so definitely is going to lose points so very logical the best move the best first move is move to 12 so that you get 12 points right now we will have to think that where should a person move now if you remember from the previous question also what we did was we went diametrically opposite and then clockwise now he cannot move anti-clockwise okay so he can definitely move clockwise and diametrically opposite now if you move one two like this you will end up scoring less so instead of that the second move should be to place number six now when you go diametrically opposite you have to subtract three so you will get three points then fourth move should be to this position the, the next move should be to this position okay so seven points and next move to this position which is eight points so a total of 15 plus 15 that is 30 points so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved solving this set so please don't forget to like this video